Hey guys, welcome to another pet battle with yours truly in Zania. In this battle, we are going to be fighting the Whisper Whispering Pandaren Spirit. Now, I have a battle pet fight, and we're going to use it because we can get the bonus experience. We are going to be using Chromenius with Arcane Explosion, Ancient Blessing, and Surge of Power. We are going to be using a Death Talon Whelp Guard with Blitz, Spiked Skin, and Dark Flame. Now, this was a completely accidental strategy that I stumbled on one day while I brought in Chromenius and I was going to try and howl and surge of power and I realized that uh, Arcane Explosion, it, I didn't change the first attack and it was left. So there we've taken our first attack with our battle pets and now we're going to bring in Chromenius. And you'll see what I'm talking about right here in just a second. Because here we go. And we're going to just start the spam. Now, this makes this a little bit longer of a fight than it needs to be, I guess. But for a two-battle pet system, it makes it really, and I mean really easy. Now, I will not get through all three of these on him. But I will get through at least Dusty and probably half, if not more, of one of the next, of the next guy, the, the, the Whisper Tail. There's our heel. And we're going to then keep using, and basically you spam Arcane Explosion and heal when your heal's off cooldown. That's all you do through the entire fight until Chromenius dies. That's it. You don't even end up using Surge of Power. You just Arcane Explosion. And then heal when it's off cooldown, which we're going to do on our next attack. He's going to do his little charge. He got lucky and his little, uh, his, his moth dust put us to sleep. But we're still up to 1,400. If you notice, we're, we're losing health very slowly. And that's fine. And we're just going to continuously keep Arcane Explosioning, using the heal when it comes off cooldown. That's all this fight's all about. As you notice, his backline pets are slowly going down also. And that's because even though this guy does his little thingy, Cocoon Strike, them backline pets still take that damage during that round. Now we're going to heal again. I mean, this makes this fight just crazy. It's, you can just sit here and keep watching whatever you're watching on your other screen or TV or whatever else. And just keep mashing one and just glance over every once in a while <laughs> to see when your ancient blessing is up. All right, one's dead. Out comes the next. We're going to do that. And it's just the same cycle. Just keep doing it until everybody's dead or or you, you die. Now we're going back up to a little over 1,000. And remember, we started the round with our Elite Plushie, our leveling pet. So you don't. it's not a big deal that we don't bring him out. And what typically happens to me is Whispertail ends up killing me because, you know, he, because he gets that Dragonkin debuff, he'll kill me on the next one if I don't kill him. And he goes first, so he's going to go first. He's going to kill me. Oh, no, he didn't. Very strange. Uh, either way, I could heal right now, but there's really no sense in it. I'm just going to let him finish me off. I wouldn't have gotten the heal off anyway. And now we're going to bring out the Death Talon Whelp Guard. Now, if you look... What? Right there, his blitz. That's going to finish off the uh, off Whisper Tail. All right, goodbye, Whisper Tail. And out comes the Pandarian Water Spirit. And watch his health when he comes out. 283 health. Now, his first attack is always going to be Soothing Mists. So you basically get that free hit off on him on the bat. But if you really wanted to be nasty, you could throw a Dark Flame at him. And he's not going to get any benefit from it because there it comes and Dark Flame does reduces the 50% from healing. So even if he'd had just a little bit more health for some reason, Dark Flame would have made all of his heals heal him for only half. So it would have been even, even sweeter. All right. So Chromenius. Where do you get Chromenius? You get Chromenius from... You get Chromenius from... Blackwing Lair, he drops off Cro-Magnus, which is an older level 60 raid, very easily soloed nowadays. The Death Talon Whelp Guard is a drop off of Broodlord Lash Lair in Blackwing Lair also. So both of these guys come from the same place. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.